Okay. So the gimbal got uh, half disconnected, something happened. Anyway, so this is again, we've gone through three uh, grips of exercises. Number one is getting up off the ground <laughs> multiple times a day, perhaps sleeping on the floor. Number two is walking, walking in more uh, varied ways that you can imagine and enjoy than the stint, you know, dragging kind of a walk that people take in the name of walking. Number three, pulling exercises with the upper body involving lats, traps, and even the posterior deltoids, depending upon the angle that you uh, pull some yourself up or something down. When I'm using a calisthenic station such as this, I am doing everything with free body weight, so I am pulling myself up against gravity. When I'm in a gym, which is not too often, then I might be able to attack everything different ways and with less weight by pulling things backwards towards me or pulling things down towards me depending on which kind of a pulley machine I'm using. Now, number four is pushing with the upper body using the same logic of you know pushing at different angles so that you can engage anything from your lower pecs to middle pecs, upper pecs and anterior deltoid and then you know pushing upwards for the middle deltoids. Okay. So what can we do over here? We don't have a great um, equipment over here for pushing, but we have something very basic. So let me set this gimbal down and see. That's a simple push-up, but if you have something to dip between, it just makes it slightly different from doing it on the floor. The second is, of course, the yogic push-up, or the soul food of yoga. Uh, you know, the main part of uh, Surya Namaskar, which is this kind of a dive bomb. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, plank. Inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, now that, that takes care of some of the angles. Now there are some other angles that are done in a more exciting way. Okay, and I do it against one of these trees sometimes over here. Uh, so, see how this goes. Now, the fourth, uh, fifth group of exercises, the final one, is stuff that brings the core into uh, engagement. And some of them, you know, I do right on this, like I was doing that yogic push up. So, in place of, you know, holding a plank for a minute or something, I go into a horizontal position that one can push out of and then do either push ups or move your hips about or do those soul dives uh, the dive bomber or the uh, Surya Namaskar kind of uh, yoga push up okay so and then you know the core also gets involved in that upside down uh, uh, thing with uh, the tree now there's a counterpart of these in many of the calisthenic uh, regiments which have come up and some of them have incorporated or in fact they have also paraded in the, the title of yoga 
uh, again some of those things are from ancient yoga but not many and all of them uh, they work if you <laughs> make them work that's the bottom line you know uh, I think uh, here's the this is what I figured out how to keep your hair black at age 55 one take it easy number two <laughs> don't take it too easy uh, continuously uh, you know whenever you can you know you can be lazy for a week but next week you bounce back and do enough uh, of uh, mixed kind of activity <laughs> and keep on uh, you know enjoying it to whatever extent life is not that complicated it's not that difficult at all uh, it's basically a misunderstanding that leads to misery so ciao for now this is Dr. Long Tall J signing off bye bye